How about that Monday night football? Dallas, Tampa Bay, Dallas minus two and a half. Total sitting at 45 and a half. Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott, I mean, over 12 and a half carries. This is this Dallas team has so funny. Going into week 15 or week 16, sorry, Dallas had not posted a positive pass rate over expected. This is not a team that that runs a lot. I mean, they run at, at, at the rate they run at, but they're running at in situations that the majority, the, the, the expected play is a pass and they love Elliot. And now that everybody's back and healthy, I think this is a great play over 12 and a half carries minus 122. That's a lean for you, Derek. Uh, that's at FanDuel. He's getting his center back. That's a big thing as they didn't have a great run game in the two games in his absence. What are your projections? And uh, what do you like about we a guy we know that's going to get first work in this Dallas offense? The projection is just a hair under 16. So we're getting a pretty big discrepancy here. Ooh. What is that? Three and a half ish carry yeah. over. Um, you know, it, he's Ezekiel Elliott. You know, there's a chance they're going to ride him a little bit harder in the playoffs. You know, they obviously worked in Tony Pollard a lot during the regular season, you know, but Elliott being an older guy, a chance that he gets a little bit more, but even if he doesn't, even if he just gets his normal workload, this number is still too low, especially in a game that projects to be extremely fast paced. Both of these teams play fast. Both of them project to run a lot of plays in general. And so the over here for Elliott looks, looks really strong. Dallas fifth in rush percentage on the road, 48%. That is a big number. And Elliot out carry Pollar in for the last five games they both played in. And between weeks 11 and 16, a six game stretch, Zeke saw at least 15 carries. That should be closer where this is projected. And that's where your projections have this. Uh, sometimes we see, sometimes we see from the books, we see these carry markets. That's why they open later uh, carries and receptions, because I think there is a little more risk involved in these, especially uh, with the significance between 12 and 13. So I think uh, Elliot over 12 and a half carries here. This closes at 13 uh, and a half for sure. I would have to think so. Good. Pace up spot, more plays, heavy run game, number one back. Great spot for Zeke there. And here we got another one. Your projections of Love Brady all season. You can say what you want about him. You can take, take all the subjective narratives out of the handicap. This is still the top and highest passing offense in football in a long time. And Brady over 272 and a half passing yards is a lean for you. The market's going up, but not often do we have the chances at betters. Brady will get this opportunity. It's up to Brady to, to have success with it and get this over. But when we're betting these 270 yard props, sometimes, I don't know, game script or what else, people don't have a chance. Brady seems to have a chance to crack these numbers every game. Yeah, they just, they love to throw. And like we said with Zeke, this game projects really, really fast. They project to run a lot of plays here. The line is 272 and a half that we're getting. He's averaging 276 this year. And this projects as one of the fastest paced games they've played all year. So he should be expected to go beyond what he normally does. So this is, uh, the Blitz is projecting over 300, I think close to 310. And this looks pretty good to me. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home are passing at 73%. That That's is a, it, it's absolutely bananas numbers. Like it, they're, they've already rode Brady hard all year. They know what he's, he can do. He's one of the fastest quarterbacks in time to throw, negating one of the strengths of, of this Dallas pass rush. But uh, I believe uh, someone from Pro Football Focus was talking about it. Micah Parsons, 13 and a half sacks this year, but just one and a half in six games outdoors with only seven QB hits. He's done a lot of his damage on artificial turf, at turf and indoors. So Brady getting the ball out quick. Brady, 272 and a half market going up. Give us the over on this. And then finally, something that betters can pay attention to, uh, as we mentioned, especially with these receptions and carry markets, Noah Brown, over two and a half receptions, plus 200. This is book specific at points bet. I doubt this is available if you're, if you're watching this on Monday or Sunday, but we saw it last week. 
with DJ Chark. Points bet hung plus 280 on his over two and a half receptions that closed at about minus 120. Yeah, it was just crazy. I saw the number and I'm like, what is this? We have to hit this. That was that was great last week. And this one isn't quite as good, but it is very similar. Uh, Noah Brown is projected just under 2.5 by the Blitz. So we're getting what is basically a coin flip at plus 200. You know, this is a guy who, yeah, he's not as exciting as CeeDee Lamb or Gallup or Schultz. And they are starting to work T.Y. Hilton into the mix a little bit more now. But this is still a guy who ran a route on 72% of the dropbacks last week. Like Noah, Noah Brown is a real part of this offense. It's a fast-paced game. And plus 200 is just a silly number. Just saw it drop to plus 190. So like I said, if, you, if you're watching this on Sunday, don't get on our case about it that that number is not available. Use it as a learning tool that uh i mean the thing i like about reading and looking at your projections it shows the entire market and and looking at price discrepancies is probably one of the best things that betters can do and, and use multiple books to get better prices uh, and this is what we're seeing with noah brown and his markets at one and a half at other books and hence hence that number but this should close much much shorter than plus 200 so if you can get that available uh good to you because that's that's a great number so that will wrap it up here for wild card week and ezekiel elliott over 12 and a half carries brady over 272 and a half and then noah brown over two and a half at plus 200 as that's falling let's uh let's keep cashing let's hope this was a great week for everybody betting we'll see you back here next week for more of Derek's projections and the blitz projections we'll see you thanks again Derek.